So when my colleague and I were putting together the textbook, we wanted to boil down the essentials of clear writing, particularly for the health professions, uh, into a number of points. And we ended up coming up with eight different points, and we uh, wanted it to be easy to remember. So we were coming up with an acronym, and it just happened that those eight points spelled Coco Cat, <laughs> which we thought was you know, a little bit funny, so it's easy to remember, and it's also pretty clear uh, and something that I think most people could, uh, could remember and relate to. The first C in Coco Cat stands for clear, and in the health professions, it's very important that all writing be clear. Uh, and clear to understand because, uh, you know, clear writing is important in all professions, but in the healthcare professions, there can be serious consequences. Uh, you know, lives can be lost uh, if uh, the instructions that one person writes for another person uh, are misunderstood. Uh, if the message isn't clearly communicated, then uh, there can be mistakes made. The first O in Coco Cat stands for objective. Uh, objective writing in the health sciences is very, very important. A lot of the students that uh, I was teaching in the writing course uh, were going into health professions. However, all of their training in writing had been in more personal essays, subjective writing. One of the hardest things to do was to get them to see that they really needed to stick to the facts when they're writing for uh, a health profession. Um, they really need to be absolutely objective to uh, state what they see, what is happening, and not what they are assuming is happening. Uh, and one of the things in objective writing is to really break it down and be absolutely specific. So if you were to say somebody is young, what does that mean? Is young five, is young 10, is young 20, is young 35. Uh, so really to be as objective and clear as possible. Concise writing is very important in the health sciences because uh, often when you are uh, on the job, you have very little time to communicate something in writing and you might have very little space to communicate. So you might have to write something in a form, yet you have a lot of information to convey. So it's important to really break it down into the essentials and to be as concise and to the point as possible. Organization is very important in professional writing uh, because uh, you're really telling a narrative. You're wanting to communicate what happened, uh, what you observed, and organizing it in a logical way so that the person that you're communicating to can uh, really follow along and understand exactly what happened by only reading it once and not having to go back and read it again to try to figure out what happened. If your writing is clearly organized, they should be able to scan it, figure out the main points, uh, and come away with an understanding. Accuracy is very important in writing in the health professions because uh, you know, being inaccurate with a dosage or writing down the wrong sort of medication or uh, you know, not accurately representing what happened or a patient's symptoms can result in tragedy. So while accuracy is important in all writing, I think really in health professions, it's absolutely essential. It's important that writing be correct uh, because, again, you are really trying to convey what happened, uh, what is needed to happen, and having the correct information, uh, such as you know, the correct medication, the correct symptoms, the correct uh, order in which things happened, uh, can really make a huge difference. In any kind of professional writing, it's essential to consider your audience because you're communicating to that audience. Therefore, it's important to determine who they are, what their background is, what information they need in order to do their jobs, and uh, to communicate in such a way that they are going to understand. It's important to be thorough when writing in the health professions because you have a lot of information to convey and leaving out an essential piece of information could cost a patient a life, could lead to further illness, or could result in loss of a lawsuit.